Hey folks, viewer mail time again! These videos are satiric reviews, you don't have to agree, but don't bitch about it. Hey there, I'm Social Injustice Warrior Veen Fuso, and I'm very proud to bring you yet another episode of Fan Mail, because let's face it, I have plenty of adoring fans all across the world. I mean, I don't mean to brag, but... I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. What is this video about? Hate mail? Okay. I'm not a VTard. In fact, I find Vinny's balding look, especially when he calls other people bald, and his mumbling, it looks like you didn't finish your sentence there, and his mumbling talk should need subtitles so we could make sense of what he's saying half the time. But he knows how to make a good show and make us talk. Sure, he says don't bitch about things because it's just his opinion and still offends himself about the feedback he gets and makes videos like this, but hey, it's entertainment. And that's exactly why I make these videos. I mean, you know, I just read my comment section and I get, I get so hurt. I'm sorry. I get so hurt sometimes that I need to cry myself to sleep. And it's just, I, I, you know, I, I can't, I can't even talk about it right now. I can't do it. I can't talk about it right now. I can't. Um, it's going to break my heart. And here's a bunch of comments I got from my Channel Awesome video. I know that's a reoccurring theme here. But, uh, apparently common sense, not as common as you would think. Uh, aren't you bald as well? But aren't you bald? Bald people are gross. But aren't you bald too? Talk about hypocrisy. What about you, man? You're bald. And thank God we have official NYGA here. Thank God he also spelled that out, otherwise I would have said that. Explaining that was the joke. He gets it. What? Why didn't anyone else? If I have my hat on for 98% of the video, right? But then my hat is off in that one particular scene where I make a bald joke, you would think that people would understand that that was the joke, but, but they don't. But they, they don't. We need a better education system. Did this ugly bald guy bad talk about another bald guy in his last video? This guy is just as ugly and stupid. I guess I'm just gonna have to take that where it's coming from. Channel Awesome doesn't suck. You suck, S-I-W. Well, you're, you're missing an initial there, but you're also missing a couple IQ points, so I guess I'll just move on from that. You're gay and your dick is small. Who told you? Oh shit, guys, I, I've been fucking do I've been doxxed. I've been fucking doxxed. This man knows way too much about my personal life, and I'm uncomfortable. So you admit that you're a small penis? Um, uh, no, uh, I'm not a small penis. I am. I'm a man. I have a small penis. That's what I. I that's what I think you meant. Uh, and you know, I'm not gonna say if that's factually true or not. But uh, you know, if I had a tattoo on there, I would be able to fit half a letter. So rappers conspire for murder, album sales skyrocket, but a metal frontman does it, and he's the worst guy on the planet. I swear there's an SNL skit in there somewhere. And this one came from the video about, uh, about Tim Lamb of God, or whatever I call him. And, uh, no, I never once said, I, I never, what? Why are you comparing those two situations? Did I ever once say, like, oh man, you know, you know who I think is a good guy? Takeshi 69 great dude, just all around, fucking family man, great babysitter, like, no, no, the situations are not related, I'm not for them doing stupid shit either, or you doing stupid shit like this in my comment section, beard boy, your eyebrows look like two caterpillars crawled above your eyes and died, did you, did you really just insult me by calling me beard boy, was that, that was your primary method, of insulting me. Beard boy. You know what? You're an interesting fellow. You're not someone who could be trusted. So let me tell you, I got my eyebrows on you, buddy. I'm watching you, Wazowski. Always watching. Nice eyebrow. Again, with the fucking eyebrows. Nice eyebrows. Wrestling was a man's business. Of course wrestling's a man's business. I mean, have you seen Steven Regal? He's a man. And also with the eyebrows insult, that's, that's where, are you saying because I don't wax my eyebrows, I'm less of a man? See, I'm just trying to get down to your level, but I, I don't know if I can get that stupid. Here's to trying.
Oh, and a AJ perfectly here. AJ perfectly here with the perfect follow-up to what I just said. You're not stupid. You are retarded. Oh, shit. Well, thank you for clarifying that. You're a good guy. Gayest fucking intro I've ever seen. I'm gonna let that one speak for itself. Please say the beard is fit. The, the beard's real. The beard is real. Why Why would I have a fake beard? Why would... Who... A lot, of, a lot of beard biased here on YouTube. A lot of beard biased. Ha <laughs> Social injustice warrior. Oh, see? Someone thinks I'm funny. This guy gets it. Social injustice warrior. Oof. The edge is too much for me to handle. Well, I better slow it down then, because that's just the tip. And what's funny is, I, I don't remember what video this was commented on, but I, I do remember it being on a video that was like a review of a TV series or a game or some shit. Well, I guess somebody's here to defend Family Matters. Your commentary bored the fuck out of me. Dislike. Right, well, your comment bored the fuck out of me, so I guess, I guess we're even now. This one I got from a video on uh, the Apostle himself, David Taylor, that's, I don't even know. Eating the slow animal snagged from the edge of the pack is so rich in sport and virtue. Truth is, Taylor is no more or less enlightened by God than these S.I.W. fellow dogs. But at least poor slob Taylor slacks the black hole thirst of evil. I'm sure you joyously agree. Are you one of these people who thinks that if you speak cryptically, that it, it somehow makes you seem more intelligent? Because I think it's having the opposite effect of what you intended. Uh, I'm not a virtuous person. I shit on people who are shitheads. I think that's fair game. Um, sometimes I insult people who aren't shitheads just because that's how much of a dick I am. That's just that's the way it is. Um, I don't have fellow dogs. I, I don't run with a pack. I'm more of a lone wolf type of guy. Just, you know, I, I didn't mean that in a furry way. That's, no, I, I don't, no, no. Let's just, you know what, let's just stop talking, no. See, you guys are the type to turn on your friends, or who you call friends, but friends look out for each other, but you would not. Really? You, you, you got that all from me talking about Brutus the Barber Beefcake that one time, huh? That's interesting. You know what, Joe? I'll tell you what. Come back to the comment section when you finally graduate third grade. Worst commentary on YouTube. Oh, looks like they misspelled comment section, but alright. V eats ass. Well, at least we know he's telling the truth so far. Not everyone that disagrees with you is a troll. I don't, I don't remember ever insinuating that. I mean, I don't, I don't really have a problem with people disagreeing with me, or even trolling me, for that matter. I really, I don't have a problem with any of that. For fuck's sake, not based mama V, no! To be fair, alright? To be fair, I was only just recently introduced to her, and I did not know... She's a bitch. Honestly, if you're a man who calls himself a social justice warrior, you're a little suspect yourself with how many of your type did the same things as Jew Wario. Um, hmm. There, there's so much wrong there that I don't know where to begin, but let me try. Uh, one, I don't call myself a social justice warrior. That's uh, almost the exact opposite. No, that is, in fact, the exact opposite of what the channel is called. So maybe get better reading and comprehension skills. And secondly, if you're grouping an entire group of people together off the actions of just a few of them, then maybe, you know, forget what I said about reading and comprehension skills, just, you know, you, you, it, it's too late for you. It's too late to just dive headfirst off the Brooklyn Bridge. And with that, that is the end of this episode of Fan Mail, but rest assured, rest assured, there will be plenty more to come. I piss people off quite often, unintentionally. And also sometimes intentionally. So with that being said, I'm the Social Injustice Warrior V Infuso, and if you like the words that came out of my mouth hole, and you too want to become a VTard, don't forget to like and subscribe. There's plenty more where this video came from. Follow me on Twitter because, hell, why not? It's not considered stalking if it's on the internet, am I right? And don't forget to join the Discord. I don't have anything catchy to add to that, but just, just join it. Just go, go do it. And if you have a free moment of time and a free dollar to spare, then head over to my Patreon, where for just one buck, you too could help keep this boat afloat. 
And if you don't have that dollar, but you do have a free moment of time, then hit the share button. It will help me out tremendously. Uh, the V-Tart, oh.